Log on, tune in, find out. Another good idea from Cambridge. So, as with any entrepreneur who sees an opportunity where the rest of us mere mortals only see huge looming problems, Jeff Mendelssohn took on the paper industry, which is one of the most polluting and resource-intensive industries in the world. It's responsible for over one-third of worldwide timber harvest and over 40% of all landfill waste in the United States alone. Jeff wanted to change that behavior by proving that there's money to be made by changing the model and creating a sustainable paper industry, what some skeptics initially called pulp fiction. He founded New Leaf Paper in 1998. According to the Environmental Paper Network, choices about paper and use, its use and selection are the most significant decisions that a company can make. Printing double-sided or better yet, not printing at all, can hugely reduce your environmental footprint. But until the world decides to go 100% digital, paper is a necessity. When it comes to creating paper with the least impact on the environment, New Leaf is really leading the pack. Sorry about the pun. New Leaf has embedded its social and environmental values into every product line and every business relationship. Its strategy is solving this classic chicken and egg question in the paper industry where both the supply side and the demand side are really unable to change their behavior. Leveraging the strength and clarity of the company's mission, New Leaf developed a market for truly environmentally responsible paper and has served this market through leading product innovation. So since its founding in 1998, its sales have grown to almost 100, 000, 100 million annually. New Leaf items are manufactured 100% with renewable energy. This is the first company in the United States to ever do this. And paper made with wind power and biogas energy obviously helps reduce customers' carbon emissions footprint in a very measurable way. Now, the company develops most white paper. It looks like any other paper, but it's not made from wood. It's made from a whole different kind of ingredients. There's a hierarchy of preferred ingredients that I'm not going to go into. But in sum, New Leaf Paper sets out to model the behavior it hopes to see in its competition and in the paper industry in general. So who is New Leaf's client? Who is its customer? There are multiple, given its multiple bottom lines. The company that buys the paper, the mill that New Leaf is having to convince to radically change the raw materials and the way that they produce the paper, the wider society that consumes the paper, the investors who really believe in New Leaf's mission but also want to return. But ultimately, the real client is the forest and the ecosystem and the environment. So you can see how complicated this who is your customer gets. Let's go to India for our second example briefly. Dr. Devi Prasad Shetty is meeting an unmet need of a very different sort through an innovative business model in health. Heart disease is one of the most common illnesses in India. Approximately 2.4 million people need heart surgery every year in the country. But due to a lack of affordable treatment, only 60,000 surgeries are performed. The prevalence of the disease is, has significant implications, as you can imagine, for the workforce. It's estimated that 28% of the 5 million Indians who die from uh, cardiovascular disease every year are under 65. The average age for heart disease in the West is 65. In India, it's 45. For some reason, there seems to be a genetic predisposition in the population for cardiovascular disease. Congenital heart disease is a, partic a particular concern. Around 224,000 newborns in India are affected every year, and the rural population is particularly susceptible due to its poverty and et cetera. So given that less than 14% of the population is supported by health insurance, treatment is only an option for the rich or those able to borrow to pay the bill. Now, Devi Shetty is one of India's most celebrated heart surgeons, but his contribution to medicine is not his surgical skill. Rather, it's his determination to make this huge industry more effective by applying Henry Ford's management principles or McDonald's management principles, 
Um, he believes that a combination of economies of scale and specialization can radically reduce the cost of heart surgery. His flagship hospital, which is the Narayana Hindu Yalaya Hospital, has 1,000 beds against an average of 160 beds in most cardiovascular hospitals in the United States. And Shetty and his team of 40-odd cardiologists perform about 600 operations a week. Patient numbers allow surgeons to acquire world-class expertise in particular operations, and their generous backup facilities let them focus on the specialty rather than having to do administrative paperwork. The hospital charges an average of, get this, $2,000 for open heart surgery, compared with $20,000 to $100,000 in America. But its success rates are as good as any, in, as the best in America. So Dr. Shetty has also established video and internet to reduce the environmental footprint and to actually have links with hospital throughout India, Africa, and Malaysia, so that his surgeons can actually give expert advice to less experienced colleagues. He also has clinics on wheels that do outreach to the rural centers, et cetera. He's created a health insurance scheme, working with, uh, with various local self-help groups, and he covers 2.5 million people for a premium of about 11 cents a month each. About a third of the hospital's patients are now enrolled in the scheme, and a sliding scale of fees for operations so that richer customers subsidize the poorer ones. It's very similar to what we know as the Aravind Eye Care Hospital model in uh, Chennai uh, or Madurai, India as well, who, that uses a very similar model. The entire enterprise is surprisingly profitable for considering the number of poor people it's treating for free. The hospital group reports 7.7% profit after taxes, compared with an average of 6.9 in American private hospitals. So who is Dr. Shetty's client? Ultimately, it's the poor. As with Jeff Mendelson, Shetty's genius is in completely rethinking the traditional business model. And that's really what these entrepreneurs are doing. They're not innovating in terms of products. They're innovating much more in terms of business models and they're responding to a client in a way that is socially and environmentally acceptable.